So I don't believe what do that. we have here? We've got 14 games in the book. It's two more that <sighs> are meaningless as far as where the Browns are going to finish. And uh, most most people. Here, here's the thing about it: as frustrating as it is, most people didn't expect it because every call I took here or on 92.3 The Fan, I, I don't think I had a, a, an 8-8. Eight and eight. I think they were all starting at 9-7 and seven and going from there. Yeah, and from I, was, the fans. I, I picked them to go 10-6 and six, even though I had so reservations I. about Fre uh, Freddie Kitchens as a rookie head coach. I just thought that their offensive talent was going to be so good that they were going to win you know, some games 24-23, 27-24. Right, I didn't so expect to see them come out and play with – with really little enthusiasm. What what is Sunday. the disposition now of um, of of Freddie uh, of, of Jimmy Haslam and D Haslam? What are they thinking? I know they can't stand the thought of paying off another coaching staff. Yeah, well, I mean, I I know a couple of people in the media uh, who believe that, as you just made your point, that Freddie's probably gone unless they somehow beat the Ravens and then finish the season strong. Um, I look at it the other way. I think this has been a, an ownership that's hesitant to fire guys when they like them, like we saw with Hugh Jackson. Right. I mean, they didn't fire him after 1-31 in 31 because they <laughs> liked him. I think Freddie's a likable guy inside the building. He probably has some sympathizers who think, well, he's a rookie. Like, what, do you, what did you expect? So is, it, is ownership going to say, hey, listen, we got to make a change? Or is, are we expecting Dorsey's going to go to Haslam and say, all right, no, listen, I made a, a mistake. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's his that's, hire. So I still hire. think he's coming back unless unless they come and they get blown out against the Ravens and then lose in Cincinnati. I I think they'll be able to justify bringing him back, and maybe I'm really wrong about that. I've been wrong a lot Freddie before Freddie Kitchens, about this who team. by all accounts, present company included, is a very likable guy. Mm -hmm. We all agree, Most of us agree on that. But for the, for the Cleveland Browns, is he the right guy? I mean, I can't believe... I kept saying before he was hired that John Dorsey has a list in his hip pocket. We always talk about his hip pocket and who he would choose if he was running a franchise. Jimmy Haslam, we thought, becoming an owner in the NFL would have had the same. Didn't know he'd be up to about, what's he up to now, five different coaches? Yeah. Yeah. We didn't think he had a list going five. That deep. Yeah. That deep. So, and as you suggest, um, uh, Dorsey, it's his hire. And if, if it fails, if he does keep him a second year and it fails, then he's, he's the one whose rear end might be on the line. Yeah, I, I heard uh, Ross Tucker say, as I was driving here, 92-3, um, say that you know, there's nobody in, you know, he exaggerated, right? There's nobody in Cleveland, there's nobody in America who if you said to them you, you could hire uh, Ron Rivera, Mike McCarthy or Freddie Kitchens for the 2020 season who would who would sign up for Freddie Kitchens. That's his yeah. his theory. And so his here answer? you are sitting where with these two veteran coaches available. So he thinks Freddie's gone. Well, you don't know McCarthy that. has a history with uh, Dorsey so you don't know where that stands right now, right? Yeah, but I mean he's just talking about the quality of coaches. Just looking There's at two it. quality veteran coaches out there that have led veteran teams before right. to the playoffs. Would they be a better choice than Freddie Kitchens What's for 2020? Answer? Yeah, I, I think Ron Rivera definitely would. Now, I think he's a guy who who players. Nobody's coming off the sideline and and, no. and doing that. And <laughs> no, I, I don't think listen, so. I understand heat of the moment stuff. Things can happen, but that doesn't happen in this league. Yeah. I've never seen it happen with Tomlin. I haven't seen it happen with a lot of other coaches. Two one.